Yo, what's up? These are 10 synthesis and sound design tricks using Ableton Drift. This is not a beginner tutorial. Hopefully you already have an understanding of oscillators, filters, envelopes, and LFOs. Let's check it out. Okay, first one is fake delay. So uh, what you heard here, it sounds like delay, but this is only the drift uh, synth. There's no sense, no nothing, no effects. Uh, we kind of faked delay with uh, synthesis. Let's check it out. So I'm gonna create, just uh, let's load a new drift instead of this one, drift. Okay, default sound. Now, what we want first is just to create a long sound. So I'm gonna go directly to the envelope and increase the release. Let's go sustain also all the way up. Nice. Now I want just to wobble the filter. So uh, for that, I'm going to go to the filter right here. We already have the LFO assigned. Let's set it to 100 and take the filter down uh, and spin it up a tiny bit. There we go. We have that. Let's synchronize it and we'll re-trigger. So it always starts whenever we press a note. It always starts from the same place. And let's do like saw so down. I'm going to go up an octave. Okay. Nice. Now let's uh, make this uh, modulation kind of decrease over time to mimic this delay sound, which already sounds like a delay sound. I want it to be shorter. So I'm going to take envelope number two and I'm going to apply it to the amount of the LFO modulation. Let's go like this and let's set it up. Maybe something like this. I'm going to set the release and decay to the same length, roughly. So even if I hit the note short, or have a long MIDI note, it's going to be the same delay sound. There we go. Nice. So that's the effect delay. Let's move on. Next one is the modulation of the LFO speed. Before we modulated the LFO amount, now we're going to modulate the speed and uh, let's see what uh, the sound is. I also have my... Um, modulation wheel here. Let me open up the keyboard so we can see actually what I'm playing and doing. But we have here uh, also my mod, mod wheel that uh, re-pitches everything. Nice. So this sounds simple, but because of that modulation and of course the extra expression with the mod wheel make it sound a, bit, a lot more a complex than the core sound. Um, so let's uh, start a new one here. Okay, nice. So uh, just uh, let's get a simple sound. I'm going to bring this oscillator two octave higher and change it to something brighter. Let's do like another saw wave and detune them. Okay, nice. Uh, now let's apply the LFO again to our filter. Let's speed it up. Nice. So let's take the LFO and make it slow down. So I want this to just move down. So I'm going to take again envelope two, but then this time instead of uh, applying it to the amount of the LFO, we're going to go to the mod matrix. We're going to take our envelope two and apply it to the speed of the LFO or the rate. Nice. Now this is the amount, so it's really up to us. And let's let's first set the envelope because uh, we want it to be just with decay. And this is how long it's going to take to slow down. Let's do even more slowing down. Let's start it a bit uh, slower. Oh. Nice. Let's make it longer. Let's uh, retrig the LFO. Here we go. Nice. And maybe we'll change to square. Let's also take the pitch modulation, do with the LFO as well, just change the pitch. And I'm going to do 50%, which is an octave. And right now everything is sounding just an octave higher because of that filter uh, gating as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, uh, right here, we're going to take my, our mod wheel and turn down the modulation 
and the pitch in the in the same uh, space. I will put some uh, stereo. Nice. So uh, very fairly similar to our original sound. And very expressive with that mod wheel that you can always automate in a MIDI clip if you go to the envelopes and you search for MIDI control. And here you have the mod, mod wheel number one. So very useful. Uh, modulating the speed. Here we modulate the amount with the fake delay. Now we're modulating the speed. Uh, very useful tricks to know with any synthesizer. Uh, those type of uh, relationships between uh, modulating the modulators, LFOs and, and envelopes. Okay, sweet. Let's check out the next one. Next one is kind of extreme. We're still using the LFO, but now we're using it in the 1-1 one, one mode, which is essentially uh, representing ratio. So this is more uh, audio rates, modulation, closer to FM, AM, uh, all those type of things. We're just uh, modulating uh, super, super fast and not wobbling, like slower. Uh, so here we, it's an extreme example where we use this, but we apply it to the filter, to the pitch, to the wave shaping of oscillator one. And if we go back, if we go to uh, the mod matrix, we also apply it to the uh, double to the filter, to the volume, and uh, even to its uh, to uh, the rate of envelope number two. Now envelope number two, we went, we click this button to turn it into uh, LFO, an extra LFO, what they call a cycling envelope. And also this we put on extreme settings, okay, super fast on ratio. Um, and uh, we map that to the amount of the LFO and also to the pitch. And we have here just an extreme, and we, you see here we pushed everything, just pushed everything. So it's an extreme example of using the ratio and what it creates in this case is just a noise machine where we hit different notes that give us different noise textures. Oh, let's me arm that. And anything we change here. Will affect the kind of noise texture. So it's a really cool kind of device to have just if you need those type of random textures and just kind of like glitches. It's a great trick, but just an example of taking the ratio or taking any synth and completely pushing it to the extreme to see what kind of weird results you're going to get. Okay, that's the noise machine. Next one is a sloppy LFO. Um, now, what happening here is, first of all, I'm going to turn down the modulation. Okay. And right now what we have is a sound that is just going eighth note, uh, wobbling the filter. Let's listen. Nice. I'm going to play it with the kick and snare because what we're going to do is we're going to add swing or essentially just move it off the grid by uh, changing the time uh, while it's going. So I'm going to launch a kick and snare. Okay, nice. Now I'm going to add this modulation and listen to what's happening to the rhythm, uh, the groove of this eighth note wobbling. Okay, so we can hear it's kind of a bit more shuffled or swung. Uh, and what's happening here is, first of all, we're just using envelope number two again as a cycle envelope, just as an LFO. Very simple, just an eighth note going to the filter right here, envelope two to the filter. Okay, now we're using the LFO to modulate the speed of the envelope cycle, of the cycle envelope. If I go to the mod matrix, we can see here LFO to the uh, cycling envelope uh, rate, to the speed of the cycle envelope. Now, um, I found that uh, numbers between 5 to 25 give you like a nice amount of swing. Beyond that, I think it's losing it. Let's, so let's uh, check out even heavier ones, like 20. And let's make sure our modulation is up. Amount, okay. Right, now it's already starting to get a bit... Anyway, we swing inside the synth, 
I love this technique, but essentially we're modulating two LFO speed with another LFO. Uh, here uh, we have this eighth note, and this is the kind of half the time or quarter notes, the higher division uh, right here. But experiment with all kinds of modulating times. Okay, that's uh, up to you just to kind of show you this uh, trick here. Nice. Let's check out the next one. Okay. Next one is using the LFO as an envelope. So we can change the LFO to a linear or exponential envelope, which would just give us kind of like an attack and decay, a quick attack decay uh, to the modulation, whatever we want to modulate. So let me remove the modulation here, just so we can uh, hear what is happening. And I'm going to bring up, this is the sound. Oh, let me arm it. Let me go. Here we go. Kind of like a sub sound. Okay, let's add some uh, modulation of the LFO, which is essentially just acting as a very simple AD, attack decay envelope right now. And I'm also going to do it to the pitch. Okay, I'm just going to give you kind of this uh, kick sound. I also take envelope number two in this case, and very slowly turning down the pitch to emulate more of a, a 808. This is a free patch, uh, and I have a whole different tutorial just how to make this sound, so I'll link it up, uh, up in the corner. Uh, and if you want, it's a free sound also on the blog. You can uh, download this uh, Drift 808. Nice. So using the L uh, LFO as an envelope, in this case, can be very beneficial because we only have two envelopes, and we don't have a way to change the type of envelopes, in this case, uh, the curves and just the stages only attack and decay. Nice. Next one. Next one is already using external envelopes and uh, expanding the capabilities of the synth. You can do this with any synth in Ableton, thanks to max 4 live um, So we only have two envelopes, but here I have the envelope MIDI, which you can find under, if you're in Ableton Live 11, under MIDI effects. You need Ableton Suite for this, or Ableton with max 4 live uh, In Ableton Live 12, they have a whole category called modulators, and we load the envelope MIDI. You'll also notice there's a new thing here because it's Ableton Live 12 uh, where uh, I can change from remote to mod. Mod will be modulator, so it won't take control over the actual control. So you can see I can still control it and it's going to change it, modulate it uh, according to its position. If I change it to control, this is the old school way, like Ableton Live 11 and prior, of modulating uh, parameters. Modulating, this is taking over control. Um, so... Let's say uh, cancel that, and let's first of all see what we have here. So we're using the LFO again as a ratio, and if you are using it for something more um, with pitch, okay, with uh, harmonic pitch, not dissonant so much, I would recommend using only a quarter, half, one, two, three, four, and so on. So let's see what we got here. Oh, let's take... Yeah, so we got just a kind of a super nasty sound here. It's just a low octaves, two oscillators. And we have the LFO. Let's turn this off right now. Uh, turn this off. Okay. All right, so we just have like a, this basic sound that I push the volumes into the filter with some noise. And if I close the filter, it's just like a very, uh, very thin sub. Now, if I add this FM modulation to the filter, we get this super nasty, um, airy type of bass. And again, every, anything here that I'll change to whole numbers should still be harmonic. If I go in between, introduce a lot of inner harmonics, so watch out for that. Now what I'm using here is I'm, I want to take this LFO, this MIDI shaper uh, and apply the our FM modulation, our LFO modulation to this shaper, which makes it even more nasty. This is, this is super nasty, but I wanted to kind of go up. So I added this envelope right here. You have it built in if you have Ableton Suite under MIDI effects. Let's go map and map it to the amount of the wave shaping. Here I also set up the minimum to be 50, so it starts from zero. If it starts from zero here, this is minus 100. That's the range of this specific parameter. 
and I can do a fast. Right? I can decide uh, how fast I want. So uh, even though I don't have this type of modulation built in in the synthesizer where I want to modulate the amount of the LFO wave shaping of oscillator one, with an envelope, I can add another envelope and apply it there. Uh, and this is endless, okay, of envelope. Let me show you another, probably my favorite trick uh, with this type of envelopes. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so the next one is uh, using the envelope as a mono trigger for a polyphonic synth. So essentially we have the envelope here uh, mapped to the filter, okay? And it gives us a very basic sound. But because this envelope is being triggered by every type, but every incoming note, what's happening is that even if I hold a chord, or let's go up an octave, and then I click on another note, it's triggering everything. Anyway, I love this so much. This is an awesome trick. You could do it with any synth, but thanks because this envelope uh, limitation uh, creates this, I love this type of beautiful plane of just holding a chord and letting the melody be harmonized uh, with the chord. So uh, this is mono trigger with the envelope. There is one extra trick here. Uh, this one is using the expression control. Now this is the one that you will have in Ableton Live 11. It looks slightly different in Ableton Live 12, but the concept is the same. In there, you can find um, the option to use random. Random will randomize every time you click a new note. Okay, it's gonna randomize. I map these to whatever you want. I mapped it to the shape and to the detune of oscillator one and two, respectfully. Uh, and I also uh, changed the ranges so they fit with that parameter. I didn't want the detune to go too much. And of course the shape, I didn't want to go too high. So now, so the uh, uh, randomizing every time a new note uh, comes in, which emulates a tiny bit more that analog uh, vibe where it's real world circuits, right? Analog circuits. So we have this unpredictability, which we can emulate with some randomization. Uh, of course, I would recommend doing many more parameters, but it's just uh, an example. Last one, maybe according to the name you can tell, but uh, it's a basic patch with envelope follower. That's all. It's like super easy to set up. That's the sound. Nice. So uh, let's uh, delete this because this is super easy to set up. Default drift. Then you're going to go and load the envelope follower, another type of modulator. Ableton Live 11, you can find it under audio effects. Modulators in 12, they have a new category. Let's load envelope follower. This will listen to the incoming audio and create a shape. And we can use this shape to uh, modulate other things. So first I'm gonna gain a tiny bit. So we have, it's a bit higher. And let's map this to the shape, uh, the wave shape effect that we have on oscillator one. So that's a bit too much. Let's uh, take down the gain. Let's do some slower decay. And here we go. Super easy, but a great example of the envelope follower can be so dynamic because it reacts into the incoming sound. Nice. Last trick, and uh, this is a shameless self plug. I have a Max for Live device that can take uh, the synth. This is a basic uh, sound and lock into the tuning section and turn it into a chip tune synth. So let me load that. Nice. So now I just have to map it to the tuning section. Let's map it here. And I'm going to hold a note. Let's spit it up. I can change the chord here. The direction. I can slow it down and spit it up. Uh, synchronize or unsynchronize. Okay, super fun. You can use it with Wavetable and other synthesizers. Uh, I have a whole video about just this. You can check out. And those were 10 or more with that expression control, tricks, synthesis and sound design tricks with Ableton Drift. Uh, hope you like. I'll catch you next time.